This week, I delivered a client her brand new logo. And with that, as always, I supplied brand guidelines with her brand fonts and her brand color palette, as well as details of her logo and all the rest of it. She was said, yay, great, that's brilliant. The next day she came back to me, she said, so how do I use these brand colors? What do I do with them? You've given me a load of numbers. What, what does it mean? And I thought, yeah, that's a very good question. So here's what I sent her. Here's what her brand guidelines looks like. So her brand guidelines look something like this, with details about her logo, her brand colors, her fonts, her icons. And it's this bit, the brand colors that we're talking about. And here we have the hex code and the CMYK breakdown and the RGB breakdown of the brand colors. Now, these don't mean much on their own, but when you put them into programs, that's when they become live. That's when you actually get to use them. So let's see, how do you get the brand colors from your brand guidelines into a word file? I've opened up a word file. It's just a, a template file. Now I need to get my brand colors into this document. So if I click on the title and then go to the font color tool and I click on here, to the arrow tool to pick up a color, it's not one of the standard colors. So what I need to do is go to more colors and this is where you use your RGB, your red, green, blue values in here. Red, green, blue, or the hex value goes in here too. So for example, if I go back to my brand guidelines and I want to make it this color, I can just copy, get back into Word, and paste into there and then hey presto there's my brand color in the uh, word document easy as that and the same goes for powerpoint it's all the same sort of thing in terms of if you click on your font your what should be your brand font everybody and you click on the font color tool and it's not one of the standard fonts you go to more colors and that's when you can drop in your hex value or red green blue your rgb or i think you can select cmyk if you've got the cmyk colors and that's how you drop them in to using microsoft products but if you go to canva then you can click on something called your brand kit. And this is even easier because once you've uploaded your logos, you can drop that in here. This is uh, the paid version of Canva when you get your brand kit. I think you can upload one logo if it's, if it's the free version and you can't upload your brand colors. But if you want to have the paid version and be consistent about your colors, you can just add your colors here by highlighting the hex value and dropping it in here and there you go so then you've got all of your brand colors that you can pull in using your brand guidelines so that when you go to your designs let's have a look uh, let's go to here so here's some of my posts and you can see that on my on my fonts which is always futura or dancing script i've used my my brand color palette by clicking oops clicking into the font clicking on the font color tool palette and under here under my avery creative brand i can pull in my brand colors whichever color I want to use for the, for the various different backgrounds or 
fonts or different type areas. I can uh, just keep using always, always the same colors because on my brand guidelines, and I gave you um, an example last week of the brand guidelines that you can pull them in. So I hope that helps and that now when I say always use your brand fonts and your brand colors, actually, you know how to do that now. I'll see you next week.